Hey what's up guys welcome back to my YouTube video and in today's video I have been sharing with you all my step editing of this image how can you transform the image from this to this in Photoshop alright so the first thing that we're gonna do here is gonna be the retouching so I always start my retouching by using a frequency separation on this one it's nothing crazy it's just like a bit of cleaning up on her cheeks and on her shoulder over here and then we're gonna move on to my favorite tool for retouching is the local dots and burn. Local dots and burn is used for to clean up all the shadow and highlight that is not consistent on her skin. So let's see before and after again. This is before and after. And of course the step here we just use curve with the rayon mask and you know we just do like a brush tool and just like paint it by my hands. And then move on to the next thing, it's going to be the contouring part. The contouring part here, I use the global dust and burn to add some uh, depth of feel to her face, you know. So in this case, I also used to enhance her eyes right over here, like can you see before and after. And in this case, mainly I use a curve tool to do like global dust and burn. And for the eye enhancement, I used uh, the layers with the normal and then I just double click right here and now you can just like underlying layer over here by holding out and then you're gonna get such a uh, it's enhancement effect like this and the next thing that I will do here is gonna be the color grading part so I will always start with a uh, skin color so in here I just kind of decided with her skin color over here nothing crazy and also like enlighten her because she look a bit dark and then in this technique, I use the selective color to do that with the layer mask, of course. Uh, mainly, you're gonna work on the red, yellow, and white channel to get the effect like this. Let's see before and after. Move on to the next one. It's going to be again like selective color, and but this time, look at the layer mask over here. I just like uh, switch back the layer mask, and then now we are working on the background area so mainly it has changed the C color to the blue color and also let like enhance the sunlight over here to get that sunset vibe all right so next step over here I use the curve tool in this curve tool mainly I just do some slightly edge curve so you will get like a depth of field to the image and make her like stand out more from the background so let's see before and after Move on to the next step. In this one, it's gonna be again curved, but this time I just playing around with the color. Basically, I working on the green channel and the red channel. So in this one, I just don't do anything much. Just lift a bit of the shadow on the red channel and lift a bit of the highlight on the green channel. In here, it's going to enhance all the color, so I will get that sunset vibe to my image. So next step, I just add the light flare over here because as you can see in the uh, raw shot, we have some uh, light flare that you know, come from the rock over there and I just want to enhance this even more. So I just add the light flare over here. And of course you have to do the layer mask because you see if you don't do the layer mask, it's gonna be some uh, light flare over here that it doesn't look so realistic. So we just mask it out over here and let's see before and after all right move on to the next one it's going to be like the skin enhancement to the golden tone so i use like channel mixer basically in here i just go to blue channel and shift the red to the left and shift the green to the right and we're gonna get that uh, skin tone color like a golden tone something like that Right, move on to the next one. It's gonna be like the outfit changing. In this one, I use a solid color to do that. You can just uh, go to a color solid color over here and change the blend mode to color. And of course, you have to use the layer mask and just mark on her outfit, and then you're gonna get the color that you want. And also, you can double click over here and move around to the color, you know, change the color, whatever you want. But I feel like the red color here is the perfect one on here. So it is really red color on this one. And now I just do the selective color to tone down the, the color of her outfit because I feel like it was too bright, the red color. So I use the color to tone it down. All right, so move on to the next one. This time I just 
enhance a bit of the you know that's a uh, orange color in the background even more and also add some purple and blue because purple and orange is away go well together so you're gonna get that sunset vibe and the color is gonna look more vibrancy so the next step we go to color lookup in here I choose the 4G at channel 250 Fuji whatsoever and then it just uh, tone the opacity down to something around 11 and you can even go more that's depend on you but if you like you know something like this is kind of suit to the image and in this case I do is because I just want to add some contrast to the image also by colors not by lighting or anything so that's why I choose this color lookup over here okay so the next step here is going to be the camera filter that I do here now it's already done version so let me show you how I do it so firstly you have to merge all the layer you can do that by hold shift ctrl alt e together and then you're gonna go to filter and the camera filter over here and what I did here mainly it just adds some the warm tone temperature and slightly add some tint to the green so you're gonna get that color that you want and add a bit of contrast roll up the highlights lift up a bit of the shadow over here just a tad though nothing crazy we add a bit of vibrancy we do a bit of saturation and then you can just click OK and here we go alright alright so move on to the next step it's going to be body dodge and burn in here I just clean up some highlight and shadow on her body that is not consistent so let's see before and after so mainly it's just on her leg and her arm a bit over here so the next step here I just enlighten her body a little bit up so in here I use curve too and it's so easy to do you can just lift up the shadow point over here and playing around with the green and red channel so it's not going to make like her skin tone look golden tone and in natural way and of course you have to use layer mask over here so I use the mask and just brush it on her body only let's see before and after alright so move on to the next step here I just remove the light flare over here on her arms I feel like it look kind of weird so in here it's so easy I just use clone stamp here to do that and if you don't know how to use clone stamp uh, you can just check out on YouTube video on Arthur that's they're gonna show you how to use clone stamp and also her hair over here too alright so move on to the next one it's going to be the blur uh, I use blur here in here I use the radial blur over here you can just go to the radial blur and click here and just click OK and then of course you have to add the layer mask over here on her only because we just want to blur the background but not on her and then you have to dim down the opacity to end or something like between uh, 16 or 12 because if you see if you go to that much of opacity it's gonna get this kind of crazy bird that doesn't look any pleasant to the eyes so just dim down to something like this and then we're gonna get that kind of beautiful blur and the next step I'm going to uh, create the depth of field and bring back the contrast to the background so you have to create a new layer over here and then change the bit more to soft light and then you're gonna brush uh, with the black brush on the shadow area that is already have on your image and then brush with the white color on the highlight area and then you're gonna get this effect like this let's see before and after and this last two step it that's going to be sharpening in here nothing crazy I just do high pass over here it's super easy to do you can just go to filter author and high pass and then you can just do the ready as like whatever you want and then you have to change the blend mode to overlay and then you're gonna get the sharpening look like this all right and then the last step here I'm gonna hold shift ctrl r e again to merge all the layer because I want to fix the blank area over here you can use the direct tangora tool and cover this and go to edit contain our scale and then hold shift and drag it like this and here we go and ctrl d to deselect it and now let's group all of them and let's see before and after 
If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe on my channel. I'll be so happy about it. And see you see on the next next video. Bye bye.